There are lots of kinds of percussion instruments, and especially you chose marimba as your main instrument, right? Yes, it's a special type of love that I have for that instrument, and that relationship began more than 10 years ago when I was a student and for the first time I was given to play with four sticks instead of two. Mm -hmm. And that's what you saw in the video of Flower also. I don't play with only two sticks, but I play with two sticks in one hand. Mm -hmm. So the moment I was led to play in that way, I kind of fall in love with that instrument. And it's very special because the wood itself is singing. Mm -hmm. Of course, what you see here is amplifying and giving resonance to the wood, which even makes it more alive. Mm. If I have to speak about percussion in general, it's a very big family of instruments, probably the biggest of it all. Mm. So we start from membrane instruments, that's drums, timpani, mm. what, what has skin. Mm. Then we go to uh, idiophones and uh, effect instruments. Mm. So this instrument is tuned, so mm -hmm. it reminds a lot on piano and mm -hmm. that approach mm -hmm. on music, mm -hmm. that we have tonality, melody, mm -hmm. we, we play harmonically in general, mm -hmm. it's more tonal and mm -hmm. harmonically related than other percussion instruments, which are rhythmical, mm -hmm. but also quite a lot of fun to play. Yes. The difference between Marimba and the vibraphone, the vibraphone is made out of metal yes, in yes. general. The right? sound is re really different. The sound is very metallic mm. and it's quite a unique sound. Mm. It, in, in some ways it reminds us of uh, a gamelan mm. feeling. Yes, of similar. Yeah, quite similar, mm. this metallic mm. vibration, mm. you know. The one person from Twitter asked you about your recommended albums or songs including marimba. That's a tough question, I have to say. Your album. <laughs> yeah, I just released an album, it's called The Hands of Time. Mm -hmm. And it's together with the fantastic organist Una Sintina. Mm -hmm. We recorded this CD a year ago in one of the biggest historical monuments of the Netherlands. Mm -hmm. And inside there are a lot of pieces together with percussion and also a solo marimba piece together with organ. Mm -hmm. and. Just check it out on Spotify. Maybe you can see the link below. I don't know. <laughs> I will show the CD. So yeah, that's the one. This album is. I have a present today. iTunes, na, Apple Music, na, or YouTube. On YouTube. I on YouTube also, yeah. I think. Uh, yeah. Uh, YouTube, where you can listen to it. I had the chance to meet and to work closely with the icon of uh, marimba playing, mm. called Keiko Abe. She's ah, yes. from Japan. Yeah. And she gave a big impulse to the development of that instrument that we see here. Mm -hmm. Her music is very related to nature mm -hmm. and it comes from her heart. She improvises the music herself and that's how the material comes. And if you have the chance, please listen to Keiko Abe's music. Yeah. Her music was amazing. But before I composed the piece Flower, I mm. listened to her music a lot for yes. understanding marimba. Yes. Yeah, yeah. She involves the whole spectrum of the instrument and makes the wood really sing, mm. I have to say. Of course, uh, many different artists you could find. Uh, for example, Nancy Zeltzman from the United States mm. of America. She has a few albums. Um, Ramon Lormans from the Netherlands, Index of Wood. Mm -hmm. It's all new music from Marimba, but in a very tasteful way, mm -hmm. chosen mm -hmm. all together. It has a few movements that actually take out different qualities of the instrument. Mm -hmm. I think uh, to a big extent, if you're, you're a true musician, mm -hmm. you listen to everything. Yes, of course. For me, uh, what helps me as a musician to make my music on, on marimba is mm. also listening to an orchestral piece, mm. for example. Mm. Could be Gustav Mahler, mm. could be uh, Ludwig van Beethoven, mm. Bach. Mm. You can get a lot of influence from everything. Yes. Also different genres. Mm. Of course. We should listen to all good music. Yes. Yeah. We should overcome the thoughts of the making boundaries between music, the genres yeah. and styles. Well, of course, some genres we don't like as much as others. Mm. And we want to learn even from something that we don't like. Mm. 
that's a good uh, philosophy of life yes. too. <laughs> Could you show an example of playing marimba? Mm, I could play something, ah, yeah, yeah. just little, but that's actually uh, what made me fall in love with marimba in the first place. It's mm. this mm. wave of sound. Mm. And this piece that I played is from Keiko Abe. Mm. It's called the Wave Impressions. Mm. It's for solo marimba with accompanied mm. by percussionists. Mm. And I think it's the energy of that piece is really to show this wave of mm -hmm. sound mm -hmm. to the audience mm -hmm. or to the people who are listening to it. Mm -hmm. It's just very captivating mm -hmm. and very meditative in a way too. Mm -hmm. It sends my mind to a totally different place. Mm -hmm. oh. I could play just a little fragment, yeah. for example. Check how things sound on the floor or ourselves. So, in general, I see the world as an instrument. Working with uh, Peter Mark it was a great experience. I think the combination between marimba and clarinet is uh, fantastic. Due to the fact that both instruments are made out of wood, mm. 